What's up guys, welcome back to Mr. Legend Crypto guys. In today's video, we're taking a look at an all coin, the sandbox, coin to rank number 36 on coin market cap, coin trading for $1.14. For In this video, we're looking at our bear market strategy for sand. Should we buy more sand through the bear market? Should we hold our sash? Or should we sell our sand so that we can get more at lower prices? We'll be looking at the sand US dollar price chart, looking at sand's performance against Bitcoin. We'll also be looking at how sand performing against Ethereum. And then we'll look at the sandbox market cap chart. We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, if you're new to this channel and you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Let's get down to business. Guys, at the point of recording this video, one sand is going for one dollar fourteen cents. In the last one year, it has gone as low as zero point one seven dollars and as high as eight point four four dollars per one. Sand has a market capitalization of one point four billion dollars. It has a fully diluted market cap of three point four billion dollars, and we only have forty two percent of the total supply in circulation. So guys, where can you get some sandbox? You can get some sandbox on your favorite exchange. You can get it on Binance, on Hugo Global, on Coinbase, on FTX, on Uniswap, and anywhere you buy your favorite altcoins. Sand is very, very popular in the market. We have more than 2 million people tracking the progress of Sand. In the last one year, the Sandbox is up over 398%. In the last one month, it's down 22%. And the altcoin market has been taking a hit in the last one month. But guys, we just saw a relief rally in the altcoin market because in the last one week, Sand is up 42%. And a lot of these altcoins in the market are actually pumping, Sand included. So should we be buying more Sand? Should we hold our stash? Or should we even sell into the pump? Because we're expecting lower prices. This is a Sand price chart from 2021 till 2022 sand is a fairly new coin and this is a three-day time frame of sand against the us dollar sand was launched here in december 2020 and in 2021 november it actually topped returning over 23,000 percent in less than a year crazy crazy returns for those who invested in sand at the bottom guys you got one thousand dollar worth of sand here at the bottom you got to cash out over two hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars at the top but after sand actually topped in november guys it has actually been dumping really hard against the US dollar. It topped here around $8.4 and right now it has dropped over 77 percent yes we've had a nice pump in the last one week in the last one week sand is up 42 percent but in the grand scheme of things we have been dumping in the last 155 days sand lost over 77 percent of its value now how low can sand actually go in the bear market guys the bear market is very very brutal for a lot of these altcoins only few altcoins will actually not dip that well in the bear market but guys you know that bitcoin the king of the market is actually down from its all-time high from as high as 69,000, Bitcoin has dumped to as low as 21,000. And that is a huge, huge dump for Bitcoin. Bitcoin, the king in the market. Bitcoin, the king in the market is down over 73%. So any coin you're holding that is down less than 73%, guys, you're actually outperforming Bitcoin. But a lot of these altcoins at the bottom of the bear market will be down 90% to as low as 99%. And worst case scenario for Sun, guys, is that Sun will lose over 97% of its value. We might see Sun trading for $0.17 per one. Maybe at the depth of the bear market, only time we tell. I'm not saying you should go and sell all your sand right now. I'm just showing the possibilities of things that might happen in the future. Uh, we are still accumulating some sand, guys, at this region. This region looks like a very, very interesting region because price actually had a lot of interaction at this region. And that's where sand is going for around 90 cents to about a dollar. That would be a very, very interesting region to get some sand. And from where we are right now for sand, if sand gets to that 0 0.9 on dollar, we will see sand drop another 61%. And from the all-time high, sand would have been down more than 80 percent and that will actually be in sand is actually performing well in the bear market if sand gets to that level sand will be down over 89 percent which is crazy but that would be the best case scenario for sand because all coins in the bear market actually lose 90 some of them lose 99 percent of their value we saw a lot of this happen in 2017 where coins rose up thousands of percentage points what happened in the bear market it took them over 800 days to bottom out and most of them lost more than 97 percent of their value and my best example ethereum ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency for market capitalization in the cryptocurrency market in 2018 guys ethereum dropped from an all-time high of over 1400 to as low as 80 dollars so 
all coins can really tank even though they can give you huge gains in the bull run but in the bear markets they are very very risky and they can dump very hard and right now we're actually having a huge pump in the market and sign is among the huge gainers in the market for 2 percent in one week is not actually a child's play in the bear market that we are right now and uh, anything you get is actually good news but guys we should be very very careful because sun might actually be losing value against bitcoin in the long run this is sandbox bitcoin price chart you can see when sun was launched against bitcoin in august 2020 it had a wonderful run against bitcoin and in the next 453 days it went up over 3400 percent that's crazy crazy returns and if there's anything we should be aware of in the bear market is that bear market is where a lot of these altcoins will share their excess weight the bull run is where all of them will be appreciating good things will be happening we'll be hearing new all-time highs everybody's kumbaya we're going to the moon lambos we're all going to be rich but the bear market is where the real money is made when a lot of these coins are down 90 some of them as high as 99 percent that's when if you scoop them before they get to their previous all-time high you'll be up over 40 maybe 50 x return on your investment if you have had people saying oh i just bought this coin and it's 20x it's because they bought it at the depth of the bear market and that's what we actually want to be doing at the bottom of the bear market from the top of sand right here against bitcoin that happened on the 24th of november 2021 and sand dropped over 77 percent against bitcoin sand is actually performing well a lot of other altcoins are down 90 to almost 95 percent against bitcoin in that similar time frame but in the last two weeks we have seen a change in trend for sand sand has actually pumped over 60 percent against bitcoin so sand has outperformed bitcoin by over 65 percent in just the last two weeks Will this trend continue? Will Sand actually just continue going on a bull run? Is this the start of another all season? But guys, remember, if we're in the bear market, you want to be careful because a lot of these pumps are just exit liquidity and people want to sell their coins for higher prices. So the prop of the price and when you go to buy it from them, you get holding the back as the price goes lower and they'll scoop it back from you at the bottom. So you want to be careful with this all coins during the bear market. Sand against Ethereum also is losing value. From the top that came in on the 24th of November against Ethereum also, just like the Bitcoin pairing, Sand has lost over 62 percent so sang against ethereum is actually not that bad Sand has not lost so much value against ethereum just 62 percent we saw that on the bitcoin pairing that lost over 77 percent and now if we're looking at the worst case scenario for Sand against ethereum i can see Sand probably almost setting an all-time low if not we might get to that region where we were 19th of october 2021 before the whole pump started I believe the bear markets will take about <laughs> the bear market will take out all the gains it gave out in the bull run. That's what mostly happened during the bear market for a lot of these all coins. Because why, guys? These all coins just went up in price because of hype, and a lot of people just wanted to make quick money. Another important worrying factor you have to look out for is that the circulating supply. We have total supply of sand can be three billion. Um, coins we only have 1.26 billion of those coins in circulation at some point in time in the future the rest of those coins are going to come into circulation and guess what the market cap of sand is going to increase but the price of sand might not actually increase because all those guys that couldn't sell their coins um, for gains in the top of the bull run in the bear market when they are still in profit guys guess what they are going to do they are going to sell all those coins with reckless abandon so guys let's take a look at the sand box market cap chart you can see that sand has a market capitalization of 1.4 billion dollars at the top of the bull run it got to as high as 7.6 billion dollars at some point in time in the future it's going to get to 10 billion but guys it has to go to that bear market phase i can see sand's market cap going to as low as 109 million is that possible guys hell a year is possible and if sand's market cap come to as low as 100 million dollars we would have seen sand from the all-time high drop how many percent probably 98 percent i know a lot of you watching this video might not want to agree it doesn't look possible at this point in time but that's the worst case scenario for sand and another important region where i'll be looking out for in the sand market cap chart is around this 585 million dollar region and from where we are right now that's almost a 50 or 60 percent dump that's around a 59 percent dump is that possible is this rally sustainable do we think sand is going to set a new all-time highs we have to see whether the bottom of bitcoin is in right now bitcoin is showing us maybe the bottom is in and that's we're going to have a v-shaped reversal but i don't think that bitcoin is just going to reverse out of here i think we're doing what we did here on the 22nd of january we we're just going to range for at least maybe two months get people very 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 bullish people think we're going to go into new all-time highs bitcoin will probably get to as high as 28k and then we'll dump and in this period in time you might see all coins actually pumping sand included so in the short time guys i can see sand pumping to probably around five dollars but in the long time i think sand is going to go to around that one dollar region and that's where i'll be getting some sand for myself so guys drop your thoughts in the comment section tell me at which price will you be getting some sand for yourself what's your bear market strategy for sand thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this turn on the post notifications to get notified anytime i drop a new video see you guys in my next video
Bye.